Nelly Furtado's Portuguese ancestry has helped give the Canadian singer an exotic edge. As well as R&B, hip hop and drum and bass, she grew up listening to world music, Portuguese fado, Brazilian bossa nova and Indian music. After scoring four Grammy nominations with her debut pop album Wo Nelly in 2002, she changed pace and became more reflective with folklore the following year. For her third album, Loose, in 2006, she abandoned her folk and rock roots in favor of a hip-hop and R&B collaboration with Timberland. For me, I just love changing, and I really felt like I hadn't given my fans the full Nelly Furtado urban experience. I was trying a bunch of new things. You know, I was in the studio, and we cut this one track called Glow, and I really wanted it to be fresh. Um, someone described it as sort of like a Debbie Harry sort of hip-hop song. <laughs> and it goes, glow, glow, glow. Love. And I did that to my vocal cords in the studio because I like to experiment and so does Timbaland. We're both into world music, we listen to African music, we listen to Latin music. While some critics labelled Loose a sellout, others called it slick, smart and surprising. Nelly attributed much of the new sexy sound to the birth of her daughter Nevis. For me, motherhood, yes, has inspired a whole new sexiness in me. It really has. I just, after I gave birth to my, to my beautiful daughter, I felt more curvaceous. I felt more proud of my body. And she wasn't too worried about the critics. I, in my career, have always felt that if you, if people either love you or hate you, it's great. You know, apathy is, is the area you don't want to get into in the music business. You know, you want people to be passionate about you, even if it's a passion where they're angry at you, you know. Sticking to her own instincts earned her the number one spot on album charts around the world, including Canada, the US and the UK. I just can't fathom being number one in the world. I never really had that kind of success before. I'm sure I was popular and everything, but it feels good, really good. So what next? I think that it might be a Latin album, a combination of Portuguese and Spanish. Um, I'm just exploring. I do not like to repeat myself. That's the one thing I won't do.